sound art is a real collaboration between musicians and artists thinking about sound, being very unique and creative, working on very unique sound objects that the music students can learn to play and compose music for. The art students will be designing and building new instruments and the music students and composers will be writing for the instruments and performing on them. I think sound has really incredible expressive properties um, in, a, in a way it's a lot more uh, flexible than visual media. You wouldn't think that music and ceramics have a lot to do with each other, but they're both creative processes. Both are creating structures, both are creating ideas that will work with timbre, or with color, or with glaze, um, and how do you make something that functions correctly or efficiently, but is also beautiful. We've made an instrument that we've uh, nicknamed uh, Good Morning Davophone. Um, it's a chordophone, idiophone, and a membranophone all mixed together. So basically it's a stringed instrument that you can play as a percussion instrument. The beauty of, of having all those uh, elements together is as, as musicians, you never want to be limited to just uh, one sort of acoustic dynamic. As a percussionist or a drummer myself, I'm usually uh, I'm, I'm hip to anything that makes a percussive tank, but when you add a harmonic element with the string, it kind of opens up new musical doors. We've had a number of illustrious guest artists that have come in, including John Schneider, director of the Harry Parch Ensemble. Then we have another expert coming in and talking about, you know, whistles and how to create ceramic flutes. Then we also have another uh, guest artist coming in to talk about the percussion instruments in Borneo, and it's, it's absolutely amazing. I did the drum tree, which was a drum with an animal skin membrane and two drums without any membrane, and I did the aluminum thunder sheet. My bicycle was just a <laughs> kind of playful thing that I thought of. It was just based off of the fact that those different spokes on the bicycle get actual pitches. And then I just started adding stuff. Used the brake to toot this horn that I had and a shaker on the handle. There's a lot of movement that goes into the bicycle too. So like, I wanted to take advantage of that. I just kind of embraced this, uh, this, whole, this separate culture of art and, and the way in his creative process, which totally informed my own. What a lot of the artists realize is that anything can be an instrument and anything can be written for. 